Welcome to our laundry room makeover. Stick around to see a transformation from dark to bright. This laundry room has two doors, one leading in from the mudroom and the other one coming in from the living room. We're going to remove that door and we're gonna add some cabinets that we had left over from our kitchen renovation. We're going to add some faux shiplap on one of the walls. And we're also going to add some tile flooring and we will need to move a vent so we can put the cabinets in. We're gonna paint the walls and we're gonna brighten it up in here. And we're gonna add a new light fixture. We're gonna add some drywall. Where that curtain is, there is a hot water heater behind there. And we're going to add a little bit of drywall above that and then we're going to add a faux door to cover up that hot water heater instead of this long curtain that is hanging there now. So I'm going to show you some before uh, pictures when we bought the home. It looked beautiful. Everything looked nice in here. Our washer and dryer are new. We have replaced that since we moved in. So we will keep this set, but we will just need to move everything out of the room, clear it out, and let's get started. Now, this is the door on the other side of the laundry room from the living room. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I've never understood. I call it Jack and Jill laundry room. It just takes up space. So we're gonna use this wall space on this side as well as in the laundry room. And we're gonna add some new cabinets. Let's get started. We started by removing the washer and dryer. I can't wait to see this flooring go. However, we're not taking up the flooring. We're just gonna add some backer board and tile. We removed all of the baseboards. Scored and removed the door and frame. And there it is. Ba bam We shut off the electrical breaker to change out the light. After removing the old light, there was a couple of holes to caulk and then the ceiling got painted. Added an LED light. I could have chose something more decorative, but I wanted something very bright. Adding drywall above the hot water heater. Also added the door frame so that the drywall can be added. In order for the cabinets to be added in this area, the floor vent has to be moved just a few inches. Three coats later. The backer board and tile is now going down on the floor.
applying liquid nail on the back of the backer board. Small spacers are applied between each tile. Leaving that overnight, the spacers were removed and now it's time for the grout. Now it's time for the drywall to go up on the frames that was built over the hot water heater and over the door frame. Time to grout the tile and save your knees, get some knee pads. For our faux shiplap wall, we got quarter inch uh, ply board and had Lowe's to cut it in six inch sections and their saw blade wasn't very sharp. So I had to sand the edges and now here I'm putting two coats of paint on one side. Also, finding the studs, drew a line down the wall so that we could locate those studs. And we're putting just a little bit of paint on each six inch section so that it will look like a true dark color in between the shiplap when it's put up using the nickel method to separate the boards. It's now time to add the freshly painted baseboards. A little caulk around the top edges made it look great. Laundry is piling up guys, so we're bringing in the washer and the dryer so we can use it and then we're going to finish everything out. There is just something to be said about these light fixtures and outlets being cleaned up. 
Now that the drywall mud has been applied after 24 hours of letting it dry, we'll do a little sanding and we'll add some paint and baseboards to that and then we'll move on. Do you remember where there was an extra long curtain hanging in front of the hot water heater? Mr. Fixit is making a farmhouse style door and it just needs some paint and hung up. Although this is a faux door, it sure looks a lot better than that curtain that was just hanging there from the ceiling to the floor and we can just lift this door off if we need to get to the hot water heater. So it's really there just for looks. Because I go rick em, frick em, frick em, frick em, frick em, frick em. After Mr. Fix It cut some wood for shells, we applied two coats of paint two coats of primer, two coats of paint. And these pipe shelf hangers is something that I found on amazon.com. If it's something you're looking for, you can find those uh, in my Amazon storefront under laundry room, and he will put up four shelves. All right, first log. Although he's putting up this longer pipe, this is for the hangers, and we're putting a metal sign right under this so that the hangers don't scar up the wall, but we are gonna get a shorter pipe as soon as we go to Lowe's, and that was just gonna be for the hangers. Here is the cabinets being put in that section of the wall where the door once was. Next, we are adding some wall supports to hold the countertop. It's a butcher block countertop that Mr. Fixit has put three coats of sealer and going to apply and make sure that these are level and he's marking it where the studs are on the wall for even more support. Two L brackets will be added to these boards to attach the top of the countertop. We added some iron pipes on the other side for support. 